Welcome back, guys. Now, we've fully sabotaged someone's car. I gotta get back to work. Gotta go on patrol. This random idiot's gonna have no idea what's coming. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. Wait, my car! My car! <laughs> Check it out, guys. Cool, I think that's a cop, dude. Oh, I see you over there. You're under arrest. Uh, Sean, we gotta go. Hey, get back here. Kyle, get out of the way. Cole, what the heck is going on? There you are. You're the one that destroyed my car, weren't you? What? Not stupid. I saw you with my own eyes. You're under arrest. I can't believe I'm in a jail cell because of Cole. His stupid pranks actually put me in jail. They are going way too far this time. He's obsessed with going viral. What am I gonna do are about you, are him? Are you talking to yourself in here, loser? Just shut up, all right? You're free to go, get lost. Oh, thank you. Well, look at my son, the criminal. Dad, please, let me explain. I can't I... believe you would get yourself arrested pulling a prank on a police officer. Are you that insane? That was cold. And why would your twin brother do something like that? He was doing another prank for his stupid it's YouTube channel. It's not stupid, shit. Kyle. Shut up. And I didn't know it was going to be a cop's car. It doesn't matter if it was a cop's car or not. You shouldn't be doing that to anybody. Boys, enough of this. I really don't care. It's time for us to go home. I'm disappointed in you, Kyle. Oh man, what a day. At least I can play on my computer or something. Oh my gosh, my stuff. What happened to my stuff? It's all smashed. And perfect. Oh man, look at my brother's stupid, pathetic face. It might look like mine, but it looks way dumber right now. <laughs> oh, what is wrong with you? Why would you do this? Uh, it's for my next video. Duh. Next video? What kind of prank is and this? And look on your face is so pathetic. <laughs> oh, That's man. it, Cole. I'm telling dad. Dad, Cole's going way too far with his YouTube channel. Oh, come on, Kyle. You're being dramatic. His pranks aren't that bad. Yeah, actually, my pranks are hilarious. People love them. You're the only one that seems to have an issue with it. Yeah, Kyle, I don't really get what the big deal is. The big deal is that he's making my life a living nightmare, and you're just letting him do it because it's getting views on YouTube. I'm so sick of this. You don't get it. I gotta go edit my video. Kyle, you need to lighten up on your twin brother, okay? He's just going through a little phase. He's making funny YouTube videos. So what? Dad, I just don't see this ending very well for us. So what, you gotta buy all new stuff now? Man, that stinks. Yeah, he's the worst. That YouTube channel he has has made him a monster. I can't support him anymore if he has these horrible intentions with it. Yeah, and I'm tired of your brother's pranks too. Cole pranked me that time, remember? He spilled paint on me while I was sleeping, dude. I don't even know how he got in my house. Ever since he started this channel and it's gotten off, he's been letting all the fame go to his head. It's led Cole down this really bad path and I don't like it. He's changed. Yeah, remember when your brother used to be cool and we all used to hung out? That was fun. But when he got to high school, he just 180'd, man. Well, speak of the devil and he shall Come appear. On, Sean, hurry up. Dude, hold up, I'm coming. Looks like your brother's up to something no good yet again. I'm gonna go catch him in the act. All right, dude, are you rolling? Yeah, here we go, we're rolling. All right, awesome. Check this out, guys. My principal sucks, and this is gonna teach him a lesson. Oh, no, you're not. What the, the heck, heck Kyle? Ball. Cole, what are you doing? I'm going viral. That's what I'm doing. Now, give me back the spray can. You shouldn't can. be spray painting the principal's car. He's a nice man. Why would you do something Now you're like ruining that? my YouTube videos. Dude, you have to stop. Principal Peter sucks. He deserves this. And you can't tell me what to do just because you're my twin I'm brother. I'm not trying to tell you what to do i'm trying to help you cole you shouldn't be spray painting people's cars for content you're gonna get in Trust trouble me, i'm not the one that's gonna get in trouble come on sean yeah let's beat it hey 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 what's going on out here kyle what no 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 principal peters this isn't what it looks like i promise you spray painted my car i am so disappointed in you it wasn't me it was my brother i promise you twin switcheroo you think i'm gonna fall for that you're suspended kyle Gosh, my content is so awesome. Cole, we gotta talk about this. I got kicked out of school. I'm suspended because of oh, you. Oh, boo-hoo. You get time off from school, whatever. Yeah, well, you would have got suspended instead of me if you confessed to doing the oh, prank. What? And get dad super mad at me? Yeah, right. Maybe you shouldn't have followed me. Maybe you should have left me alone. I'm your twin brother. I'm always gonna look out for you, Cole. And I'm telling you right now, these pranks have to do doing what people want, man. Look at my channel. 
Look at the views I get, the subscribers. Did you see you're going about this all the wrong way? You need to stop these pranks right now before somebody oh gets my hurt. Gosh, just shut up, Kyle. I'm not going to stop because these pranks are harmless. If you stopped messing with me, then you wouldn't be getting in trouble. Now get out of my room. Nicole, this was actually a really nice idea. The, the weather is great, and I really wanted to spend more time with you. Kind of nice to spend time with you, too. I figured riding bikes was kind of like the old days. Oh, yeah, definitely. It really is nice to catch up. Hey, oh my gosh! I can't stop! Help! There's a tree! Ah! 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 Oh, you jerk. Ah. Kyle, wake up, okay? It was just a prank. Kyle? Kyle! Oh, oh my gosh, that was intense. Well, where am I? Kyle, Kyle, thank goodness you're, you're okay. How are you feeling? Well, my head hurts, but other than that, I'm fine. I'm so sorry. I had no idea one of my pranks would lead to it this. It was you? You cut my brakes off. I know, and I'm really sorry. That's right, guys. You saw it here first. Quote, unquote, famous YouTuber Cole and his twin brother Kyle. This is what happens when you pull pranks on your twin brother. Subscribe to Caught by Jerry to see more dumb YouTubers caught in the act. Are you serious, Jerry Drama? Yeah, that's me. Dude, this was an accident, okay? What are you doing here? You're one of the hottest new YouTubers out there, Cole. And I'm here to expose you. You can kiss your pathetic YouTube channel goodbye just get lost jerry oh man kyle i'm really sorry i did not mean for you to get hurt and get wrapped up in this youtube mess i don't know what i was thinking you know what cole you know how you can make this up to me how dude i'll do anything try being a good youtuber Come on, dude. Is this really necessary? Yes 100 this is absolutely necessary now go <sighs> fine Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today and now going forward, we're gonna be doing something different. I wanna change the style of content I put up on my channel. And the first order of business is giving back to people that I pranked, like Henry here. Oh, uh, ha ha y'all. I hilariously pranked Henry in the past. Well, it wasn't that funny. You're right, Henry. It really wasn't that funny and I kind of ruined a lot of his stuff. So I wanted to give you a present to make up for it. See, Cole, being a good YouTuber isn't so bad. It's oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That's right, viewers. Look at Cole being a real terrible friend and YouTuber. You keep giving me great content like this, Cole. Your channel will be tanked in record time. No one's going to want to support you after this. <laughs> oh man. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Hey, Cole. How's it going? You feeling all right? No, I'm not feeling all right, Kyle. Leave me alone. Come on, dude. Talk to me. What is there to talk about? All my followers are gone. My channel is completely ruined because stupid Jerry Drama put out another video about me. Now everything's gone. And I'm a total loser. What? No, Cole. You're not a loser. You just don't have to be a mean YouTuber to be popular. That's what put you in this problem in the first place. Well, being a mean YouTuber was the only way for people to notice me. No one cared about me. Me. I had to do something. I had to get noticed somehow. Cole, by doing pranks like that and being that obnoxious, you're only going to be noticed as a jerk, not a cool person. You don't have to be a mean YouTuber in order to get attention. Well, how else am I supposed to do it, Kyle? This is the only way that's been working so far. You want to know how to be a good YouTuber? Let me teach you the right way with no pranks this time. Well, Kyle, this is kind of your idea. I think you should be the one to announce it first. Thank you all for showing up, everybody. We'd like to welcome all of you to the first mansion created for YouTube content creators. That's right, guys. This place we built specifically for YouTubers to come and film content and to collab with other people. And the best part is it's totally free. All you have to do is schedule some time and that's it. I'm hoping that any content creators can come by and, and film videos with us. Yeah, right. Jerry Drama here, ladies and gentlemen. Don't listen to these idiots, okay? This is just another lie. What? What do you mean it's another lie? You just built this place so you can prank other YouTubers freely. That's not true at all. I don't even make prank content. I can anymore. vouch for him. He hasn't pranked me or anybody in yeah, months. Right. Well, I'll believe it when I say well, the first thing we're going to do is Kyle and I are going to donate a thousand dollars to the creators that join us. I'm finally starting to do good things on my channel, and this is the beginning of it. Just wait, Jerry. You'll see. 
Wow, Kyle, look. I can't believe all these people signed up to use our YouTuber house. I know, it's crazy. Look at all the people here. This is awesome. You're doing a lot of good, Cole. I told you people would be into this. You don't have to be a jerk. Oh my gosh. Dude, look who's on the list. It's Jerry. Never doubt the Jerry drama, okay, losers? Jerry, you were bashing this idea from the start. Why did you decide to join us? Well, if it's to support other creators, then I'm all in for it. Obviously, that's what my content is about. Helping other YouTubers say the truth. Well, that's great. We'll give you and the creators the $1,000 Robux tomorrow morning. Yeah, you better. You know what? To extend an olive branch, why don't you and I film a collab video tomorrow? Yeah, well, fine. Yeah, I guess that would be uh, kind of cool or whatever. Awesome. Kyle, why don't you put that bag of Robux in the safe? Yeah, that's a great idea. Now let's get out of here, guys. It's late. We'll go around and lock up, and Jerry, you're free to see yourself out. All of those Robux are going to be mine and this stupid venture of yours is gonna tank all this drama is gonna do so good for my channel not only do i have all this money i'm gonna make so much more <laughs> i still can't believe cole and his stupid twin brother were up to this idea but i gotta prepare for tomorrow to look on those losers face when they don't have any money to give those other youtubers Hold on a second. These real bucks are fake. Surprise! Surprise. Uh, what, what the heck? What are you doing here? What's going Jerry, on? Jerry, we knew you were going to steal those Robux, man. We're just going to do something to create some drama. And now, everyone knows about it. You're a total fraud. And you stole. You're going to jail. What? No! I can't believe that actually worked. Kyle... I want to thank you, man. Thank me? Thank me for what? For helping me and making me realize I was a mean YouTuber. I'm really sorry. You know, I'm always going to look out for you no matter what you do, man. And it's way better being a nice YouTuber than a mean one. I guess we can add another million into my vault. Of course, Mr. Bennett. Your money is safe here with us and our state-of-the-art security system. By the way, I'm a big fan of your book. Really? Wow, thanks. Okay, everyone's gone. This better work. Facial recognition approved. Welcome back, Mr. Bennett. Huh, it worked. Luckily, I'm Tom's twin. Whoa, this is a lot of money. Ugh, Elliot, time to focus. Let's do this. Motion detected. Enter password. What the heck? Incorrect. Oh, this is stupid. I better destroy this evidence. Ha ha ha. All right, now time to get out of here. Man, I need to write my next book, but it's just so rough. My first book did so well, and I just want this one to be even better. I should get some sleep. Ugh, no, maybe one more chapter? Okay, my rich idiot brother should be out partying, spending money, or whatever rich people do. I'm gonna look around and find Grandpa's watch. Dad gave it to him, but it belongs to me. Now, where is it? Huh. I'll take this. Now to find that watch. What the heck? The cops? Oh no. Uh, can I help you, officer? Good evening, Mr. Bennett. I'm Officer Harrison. I hate to say it, but someone broke into your vault with the bake. What? How? I don't know, but you should come with me immediately. Wait, hold on. Elliot? Oh, great. Uh, hey, bro. Who is this? Wait, hold on. Is that- Yeah, this is my twin brother. What are you doing here, Elliot? I just came to visit you. Wanted to talk and catch up. But you haven't talked to me in months. Yeah, so what? I wanted to talk to you now. Great reunion. Now, I want both of you to come with me. You were both at the police station all night. So what happened? I don't know, Dad, but someone stole half a million dollars from me. That's terrible. Yeah, they destroyed the security system too. The police told me that all the footage was damaged, but I don't know. Hopefully they'll recover it somehow. Well, that's good. Yeah, but the cops said it's unlikely. We shouldn't get our hopes up. Well, I'm going to have hope. And hopefully you can get your money back, Tom. Not like you need it. You're rich. That doesn't matter, man. I worked hard for that money. You wrote some stupid book. Big deal. Elliot, enough. Tom, your brother just doesn't understand. He doesn't know what hard work even means. Shut up. You're such a jerk. Man, what has got it into him? Elliot lost his job again. Got fired for his bad attitude. So he got a job at a mechanic shop and he hates it. Oh, wow. So he's been going through it then. Elliot needs to change his attitude or he's going to get himself in trouble. Yeah, Dad, but you've been tough on Elliot. I mean, even since we were younger. Well, I'm disappointed, Tom. I'm just glad at least one of my sons turned out good. I don't know. Maybe he's trying, Dad. 
I'll keep an eye out on him, okay? And help him if I can. Here's the money, boss. I told you I'd get it. Ah, this is more than I thought you'd get me. I told you. My brother's rich. <laughs> good. Keep up the good work. You might be my best employee yet. Tom? What are you doing here? Oh, hey, Dad told me you got a job here. Yeah, well, I'm at work, so I'm busy. Yeah, I know. Don't worry. I just wanted to pay my brother to detail my car. Why don't you take it to your fancy car dealership? I'd rather the money go to you instead. Look, Dad said you've been mean, cold, and distant, okay? He's worried about you. I'm fine. Come on, man. You can talk to me. I'm your brother. Yeah, the perfect brother who's rich and successful. And here I am, poor and can't keep a job. Look, uh, I don't know what to say, man. I have something big coming up and maybe I could use your help. Why don't you come work with me? No. Well, okay. It's always there if you want it, though. Dude, just shut up, okay? Why don't you go so I can clean your car? All right, whatever, man. I'll come back for it later, then. I'm really sorry about the break-in, Tom. Really, truly devastated. I am so sad he lost so much money. It's not a big deal, okay? So, Timmy, you're my agent. You said you had a deal for me? Oh, nothing much. I was in talks about making your book into a movie. You're kidding. Timmy Talents didn't get this far into the business by kidding. This is real. A big Hollywood movie company wants the rights to make your book into the next big blockbuster. I never dreamed my book would be this popular, and now they want me to make it a movie? This is more than I could ever imagine. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, of course it is, but uh, there's a catch. They want a trilogy. A trilogy? But I'm only working on my next book. I know that, I know that. You think I don't know that, but if you want this deal, that means you'll just have to write two more books. Then we can get Chet Flanders in to start in your movie. That's great. I accept the deal. Great! <laughs> this will make us millions. Now go and keep writing those books of yours. Go, go on, come on, you with your creative brain and whatnot. Uh, sir, I have something I need to tell you. What is it? The police just called. They're coming by your house later today. They have news on the break-in. Ah, oh, thank goodness. I better get back home then. Uh, so, officer, my assistant Bradley told me you had some more information on the break-in? I do. Check this out. This is all we were able to recover from the bank security system. And it's strange. That looks just like you, Mr. Bennett. Go into the bank at 10 p.m. Stealing your own money? Wait, no, that wasn't me. That's impossible. Then it must be your twin brother, Elliot. What? Dude, it, no, it, it can't be him. Why not? He's going through some stuff right now. And I guess he's always been jealous of me, but there's no way he would rob me. Then who else could it be? It could be the footage, maybe corrupted or something. Yeah... Maybe that's what it is, yeah. We should take him in for questioning anyways. Do you want to press charges on your brother? Can I think about it? All right, fine. I'll give you a couple days. Dude, I know I'm just your assistant, but I'm also your friend. What more do you need to think about? What do you mean, Bradley? That's my brother right there. I can't just get him arrested. That'll ruin our entire relationship, and it's already rocky as it is right now. So what do you think you're going to do? I don't know. I'm going to go talk to him and find out the truth. Here's your car, Mr. Fancy Pants. Looks brand new. Thanks, but look, there's something I need to ask you. No, dude, I didn't take your car for a joyride, okay? I just left it here, like I always do. No, it's not that. Did you steal from me? What? The police recovered some of the footage, okay? Someone that looks like me was the one to break into my vault. Well, it wasn't me. Well, Elliot, if it wasn't me, then you're the only person on the planet that looks just like me. I am so offended that you would even think it was me. You've changed ever since you got all rich and fancy. You think you're better than me now. Oh, calm down, man. That's not true at all. Okay, fine. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt here. I'm sorry. I just wanted to make sure. Just take back your stupid car. All right, here. What do I owe you? Nothing. You'll just probably tell someone I stole your money. Just take the money, man. I know you could use it. I could use it? That's it. Just go. Was that your brother? <sighs> yeah, it was. Does he know it was you who robbed him? He's getting suspicious, but I'm sure I can lie and get him off our trail. No, we have to accelerate the plans. We robbed the rich snob's place tonight. You sure your brother's gone for the night? Yeah, I'm sure. You weren't last time. Shut up. Just get in there and get this done with. Whoa, big fancy house. Yeah, and it's stupid. The safe should be somewhere hidden. We gotta look for it. See, here it is. Yeah, now let's take some money. 
take as much as you want. I need to go look for something. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <sighs> now, where could it be? Mr. Bennett? Uh, yeah? Your silent alarm went off. Is everything okay? Yeah, it's fine. Just go. Hey, Elliot, let's get out of here. I got your brother's whole safe right here. What the? Criminal! No! I gotta find a way out of here. Ah! Uh, uh, uh. You're not going anywhere. So, kid, you took me to this fancy dinner. You must have some reason. I do. We're celebrating. Celebrating what? The movie deal. My book is being made into a movie. Oh my gosh, that's amazing, Tom. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Dad. I wanted to tell you and Elliot, so where is he? Elliot said he had to work late. Work late? At the mechanic shop? That's what he said. Do you have any new information on the robbery? I mean, I'm getting my money back, which is good, but the cops think it's Elliot. I think it might be him, too. Oh, come on, Dad, not you too. Remember, Elliot has always been jealous of you. He's been cold and distant ever since your book made you rich. Yeah, I know he's been jealous, but that was when we were kids. I don't know, I hope it's not true and that he's just grown out of it. Officer Harrison? You need to come down to the police station immediately. Uh, what was that? Uh, I have to go to the police station. Then I'm coming with you. We got the other guy locked up, but your brother was the other one. What? Can uh, we talk to him? Yeah, sure thing. Go ahead. What the heck is wrong with you? It was a mistake, Dad. No, it wasn't! You don't just rob your own brother by accident, dude. I didn't raise a criminal. Why would you do that to me? My boss got me involved in his criminal activities. I didn't know until it was too late. Ha! Huh, likely story. It's the truth. You wouldn't know the truth if it hit you in the face. I am so disappointed in you. Of course you are. You only love Tom. You're always disappointed in me. Because of the things you're doing, man. Is that why you did all this? Yeah, and I just can't take it anymore. I'm sorry, okay? Just forgive me. I'm not gonna do it again. Let me guess. You were the one that stole from my vault, weren't you? No, it was just this one time. I don't think I could believe anything you say anymore. I definitely don't know if I could forgive you for this. I said I was sorry, Tom. I'm sorry. What the heck is this? Is it true your brother was the one to break in? How much did he steal? Yeah, was it really a twin or was it just you, dude? I need to know. Well, this is one way to get press for the movie. Were you the one that told him to come? What? No, 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 no. Of course not. Timmy Talents never calls the paparazzi. The paparazzi calls Timmy Talent. Someone leaked the break into the press. Probably one of your neighbors or something. Ah, great. I promise this will all get sorted out. I don't care. This is the good kind of bad press. Makes you look innocent and helpless like a dumb baby. A dumb money-making baby. Hey, I just had a rough night. No, of course, of course, of course. Rest up, buddy. We stop filming for the movie next week. You freaks better get my good side. So is it really your brother? Yeah, it was. Man, that's terrible. What's gone into him, dude? I think he just let his jealousy get the better of him. So where is he now? Stuck in jail. Maybe you should help him get out. Me? You seriously think I should help him after everything he did? Yeah, dude. That's your twin brother, man. He's your family. Family is important. You got a visitor, Bennett. We'll give you 10 minutes. What do you want? Come to make me feel even worse about what I did? No, I just want to talk. Well, I don't have a choice, do I? So, you might as well make it fast. You've only got 10 minutes. What is wrong, dude? Why are you so jealous of me? Isn't it obvious? What, because I'm rich? No, because dad loves you and he hates me. I'm always gonna be a disappointment compared to you. Dude, do you really feel bad about what you did? I was begging you for forgiveness and I don't beg for anything, you know that. Yeah, I know, you're stubborn and you never really apologize for anything you do. Then you know that I'm really sorry this time. All right, man. I was thinking about it, and I'll forgive you. Wait, really? Yeah, but only if you accept my help. Help with what? Move in with me, man, and move down the right path. I can help you get a real job, clear your name, and make it so you can be successful like me. I just want to help you get a good life. Well, that sounds better than being a criminal in jail. <sighs> I'll, I'll let you help me. Then I'm going to talk to Officer Harrison. I want to free my brother and not press charges. Thank you, Tom. I promise. I'll change. Oh, good, you're here. Look, I gotta talk to you about the... Oh. Bradley, this is my brother Elliot. You probably don't even know I existed until now. 
clearly he doesn't like talking about me. That's not true. Yeah, I did know about you. Before you decided to steal from your brother, how'd you get out of jail? Tom helped me. Yeah, I worked out a deal. I'm not pressing charges on Elliot. Oh, you're not? And I'm gonna help him get on the right track again. Elliot is gonna stay here with me, and I want him to start working with us on this movie. Whatever you want, boss. Actually, I think that's a good idea. I just found out we're down a cameraman on set. Then I think that'll be perfect. What do you think, Elliot? Yeah, man. I mean... It beats working as a mechanic or something. Perfect. Elliot will be the new cameraman, so that way you can focus on writing your next book. Yeah, sounds good to me. I'll go call the team and set everything up. I promise, dude, I'm not going to mess this up. I know you won't, man. I'm trusting you. And I also wanted to let you know that I'm inviting Dad over for dinner so we can all talk. No, that's a bad idea. Dad and I are just going to be fighting the whole time. I don't want to see him. Yeah, man. Well, you're going to need to face him sooner or later. And you're going to face him now. Wow, this food's actually really good, Tom. Thanks, Dad. I made it myself. Better than the jail food they had me eat. Don't talk about jail, Elliot. Why not? Are you embarrassed? Of course I am! That's because I'm nothing but an embarrassment to you. This is a mistake. We should have left Elliot in jail. Dad, hold on. Elliot said he's gonna change. You can't change people, Tom. Are you crazy? Of course you can. People change all the time. Well, not your brother. He's always been like this. And I don't think he can change one bit. Of course you don't. Because you hate me. You always like Tom more than me. You gave him everything and you've given me nothing. That's not true. You've always been jealous of your brother ever since you were kids. And it needs to stop now. I don't want to hear it. Dad, I told him you weren't gonna fight with him. Sorry, son. <sighs> Like I said, I think this was a mistake. Your brother is a lost cause. We should just give up on him and move on. Are you serious? That's your son! That's not true. And I'm not gonna give up on him. Elliot, what are you doing up so late? It's like 2 a.m. What are you doing up so late? I'm writing my next book. I have to finish it soon. Oh, man. I thought writing was, like, easy for you. No, it's not. What are you doing anyway? Ugh, I can't sleep. I was trying to find my way to the kitchen but I got lost in this big, stupid house. It's not that big. Here, let me show you. Thanks. So, dinner was a disaster tonight, huh? I told you Dad was just gonna fight with me. It's all he does. Well, I think he was kind of harsh on you. He always is. He's always comparing me to you, and it sucks. Is that why you hate me? No, I... I don't hate you. I'm just jealous of you and your success. The only person that was ever proud of me was... Grandpa, I know. But hey, I mean, he was proud of both of us. I know, but look at you now. You're all rich and famous. You have everything. You could be successful too, Elliot. I know, and I want to. That way dad can finally be proud of me like he is of you. Look, man, I'm promising you this right now. I want to help you and things are going to change. Oh, I can't wait to change and prove dad wrong. You will, and it's going to start tomorrow. Whoa, this is a real movie set. Yeah, what did you think it was going to be? Someone's backyard with an iPhone camera? Just shut up, dude. This is serious. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm just kidding. Look, you're going to be in charge of this camera, okay? Okay, I can do that, I think. Don't be nervous. You'll do great. Hey, thanks for the job, and thanks for giving me a chance. Of course, bro. Tom, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm helping Ellie get set up. That's it. I can do that. You aren't supposed to be on set today. You need to go back home and write more of your book. You're almost done. Okay, okay, I will. I'll be back later to get you, Elliot. All right, dude. Later. Look, let's just cut to the chase, shall we? What do you mean? I know you're a criminal, and I know you hate your brother for being rich. You don't know me at all. What is this? You trying to scare me? Because I promise you, I'm not the one to mess with. No, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm trying to tell you that I hate him too. What? Your brother got rich because he got lucky. I work super hard and I've got nothing. I'm just his stupid assistant. You and I deserve to be rich, not him. And I know how we can do it. I mean, you want to be rich, don't you? Yeah, of course I do. And I can make that happen. As long as you do exactly what I say. Oh yeah, this is sick. The book's done. Hey Tom, just finished up on set. We actually got done early today. Early? What can I say? I'm a great cameraman. Well then, you did a great job, man. Everyone was saying so. Oh, thanks. And um, thanks for paying me too. I forgot what it was like to actually have money again. Why are you in such a good mood? You've been stressed out for like weeks, dude. Yeah, I just finished my new book. 
And I think it's really good, too. No way, that is sick. And I think we need to celebrate. Okay, I like that. How about we go away on a trip or something? Yeah, that's perfect. I'll go call Bradley and get him to book us a trip. <sighs> Sorry, Tom. I have to do this. Okay, just need to make a copy of his book and bingo. Oh my gosh, it's Grandpa's watch. There it is. He was hiding it here the whole time. Elliot, uh, mountains or island? Uh, island, duh. I can't wait to go to a tropical island and just relax. I've actually never been on an island, so I'm kind of excited too. This reminds me of all those beach trips we used to take as a family. Oh yeah, man, those were the days. Dad used to take us when mom was working and we could just swim all day and build sandcastles. And get ice cream on the way home. Man, those were good times. Yeah, well maybe we can do that after the movie comes out. You, me, and dad. Sure, but maybe not dad. Come on, man. People can change, and that includes him. Gentlemen, your private jet is ready. So, did you get it? Yeah, here it is. Oh, good. I'm sending you the money I promised, $100,000. But there will be more once I release this book. Yeah, thanks. What's wrong with you? You should be happy. You just got a ton of money. I don't know. I'm starting to feel bad about this. Just shut up. If you tell Tom what we did, I will ruin your life. Have a good trip. What have I done? Whoa, these pictures are gonna be sick. Dude, come over here, take a selfie with me. What, why? So we can remember the trip. Come on, don't be lame. <sighs> yeah, whatever. Perfect. I just wanna say, man, I'm really happy you're here. Yeah, me too. You really changed for the better. I'm really proud of you. You are? Of course, dude. So, what do you want to do today? Swimming? Jet skiing? Jungle tour? No, I'm all set. Dude, we're on the best vacation we've ever been on. Why do you seem so down? I've just been thinking a lot, and I have something I need to tell you. What is it, dude? You can tell me anything. I did something, and I feel terrible about it. Just stop beating yourself up over what you did, okay? It's all in the past, and all you gotta do is focus on what you're doing now. That's not it. Tom, you need to come back right now. There's a big issue. Uh, uh, okay, uh, we'll head back right now. Look, uh, Elliot, something's wrong. Bradley wants us to come back, okay? Now, let's go pack. What is he up to? So, Bradley, what's the big issue? This is the big issue. What's wrong? Someone stole my book and published it online. Wait, what? Yeah, the whole thing, it's right here. And people are buying it. I don't know how someone got their hands on your book, dude. Yeah, me neither. I mean, unless someone hacked my computer? Huh, that's probably what happened. No, I'm going to the police right now. W wait, don't. Why not? This is a crime. We should try to find out who did it on our own, right? We want to avoid a scandal. Bradley, no. This ruins everything. I'm going to the police and I don't care. You didn't tell me that you were going to publish his book. Why do you think I wanted you to steal it? So I could read it on my own? No, I wanted to make some more money. This isn't right, dude. Tom worked hard on that. I should have never agreed to steal that book for you. Any update on the book? I was just telling dad, apparently the publisher of the book is just a random online account. And let me guess, they have a fake name on the account too. Yeah, of course they do. The police are investigating who the account belongs to, though. I'm so sorry for you, Tom. I know how hard you worked on that book. I don't understand how someone could just do that to someone else. Well, whoever did that is a terrible person and should be locked away in jail forever. Well, I hope they will be soon enough. Good luck with everything, Tom. I'm heading home now. Oh, by the way, Elliot? Uh, yeah, Dad? Tom told me about your new job and how you've changed. And I can see it, too. I'm proud of you, son. You're proud of me? Of course I am. Keep it up, kid. Well, there's a silver lining. I never thought he would ever say those words to me. Must feel good, right? Yeah, it does. Oh, by the way, I'm so sorry about everything. You said you wanted to tell me something back on the island? Uh, no, I'm good. What I did was wrong, and I can't take this. Even if I want it, I can't turn on my own brother. You did great today, Chet. I always do great. I'm Chet Flenderson. I know, and I'm so lucky to have you be the star of my movie. Listen, Tom, my image is everything to me. You must understand. Of course, Chet. So I need to review the footage of me before it gets put in the movie. Yeah, of course. Let's go check it out. Elliot, can you show Chet what you filmed today? Yeah, no problem. 
I hope you like it, Mr. Flenderson. Baby, you get any Well, I have to say, I'm loving this footage. I look incredible. So, you approve? Of course I do. You're the best cameraman I've ever worked with. Wow, thank you so much. But anyway, I've got to go. I've got news to report. Great job, man. You're killing it. Yeah, thanks. What's wrong? Tom, I just got a call from the police again. They found out who owns the private online account. They did? Yeah, and they want you at the police station right now. Oh, I'm there. I can't wait to find out who stole my book. What did you do? Just shut up. We're going to be fine. You framed some innocent person, didn't you? Just relax and don't say anything. Now, for the last part of my backup plan. Aww. Well, we got him, Mr. Bennett. I want you to help me interrogate him. Me? Yeah, I mean, it was your book he stole. Plus, he requested that you'd be there. Yeah, that's weird, right? Very weird. But let's get this over with. All right, Finkleberry, Mr. Bennett's here. Oh my gosh, about time. So what do you want to confess, huh? Confess to what? To stealing my book. I didn't steal your book, okay? We traced the account that published it back to you. I posted the book, okay? But I didn't steal it. Then who did? It was some punk idiot named Elliot. Elliot? He couldn't have. Looks like your brother's at it again. No, no, he, he was with me the whole time. He, he changed. He's not a criminal. Look, I don't care what you say, Tom. I'm gonna go arrest Elliot for the last time. Wait, can I at least get an orange chicken lean cuisine? Elliot Bennett? Yeah? What's going on? You're under arrest for stealing your brother's book. What? Me? Dude, I thought you changed, and now this? It wasn't just me. So you're working with someone else? Yeah, I was. It was Bradley. Bradley? My assistant? Yes. He paid me to steal the book and give it to him. It was his idea. I'm so, so sorry, Tom. What is this? Did you pay Elliot to steal my book? Of course not. Elliot's a known criminal. This had to have been him. That's what I thought. He can't take the blame for his own criminal acts, so he blames this poor guy. Y'all, that's right. Wait, you stole Grandpa's watch? No, 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 wait. I put it back, I promise. I can't take it anymore. Just take him away. You did the right thing, sir. Some people never change. Look, I'm trying to tell you the truth. The truth is you're a liar and a criminal. Tom, please, just, just listen to me. So, you can lie to your brother even more? Dad, I thought you were finally making something of yourself. But all you did was make a mess of your life and hurt your brother. It was Bradley's idea, not mine. He used me. What you should have done was use your brain. But I guess you were born without one. Okay, Dad, you gotta lighten up on him a little bit. He's already in enough trouble. No, he's going to jail. And he needs to know this. Now you know you're a good-for-nothing loser, and you'll never amount to anything! Dad! Take him away, officer. I never want to see him again. Tom, please believe me! I don't know, Dad. I feel like something's wrong about all of this. What do you mean? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. Where's Bradley? He's late. Let's start the trial, shall we? Yes, sir. Okay, then. Let's call the other criminal in. Mr. Donald J. Finkelberry, you are going to be put on trial. Not my first time doing this. Please identify Elliot as the man who made you publish the book for him. Yeah, no, no, that's not him. What? See, I told you. What did that guy look like? Yeah, I don't know. Skinny, stupid, always on his phone. That was Bradley, not me. Oh my gosh, that's why he's not here today. He's my assistant. Look, I did steal the book for him, but I felt terrible about it. And I was going to try to fix all of this, but Bradley must have framed me. Please, Tom, believe me. I believe you, Elliot. Judge, I want to drop all charges. I want to let my brother go. But he admitted to stealing your book. Yeah, but he was obviously manipulated by someone else. And I ask that the court go to recess. I'm going to go get Bradley. Ha <laughs> ha that stupid idiot. All this money is going to be mine now, too. Y'all, what do you want? 
Yeah, uh, I just gotta let you know the police are coming for you, Bob. What? You idiot! Ugh, I worked so hard to write a book and no one bought it. Then some stupid idiot writes his own and he gets rich? Well, look who's rich now. I gotta get out of here. Bradley, you need to come with me. No! Oh, no you don't. What, what the? Oh! You made a big mistake, Bradley. And now you're gonna pay for it. All right, Owen, are you ready? Y yeah, just, can you just get it over with? All right, dude, here I go. Whoa! <laughs> oh, man, that was awesome. Did you get the shot or what? Yeah, listen, we really shouldn't be doing this. Shut up, Owen. You don't know anything, okay? I think we'll just do it again. Just keep recording. Dude, why do you even want to do this? It's super dangerous. Uh, it's pretty simple, dum-dum. I want to be famous one day. I want to have it all. Money, fans, meet and greets. Expensive cars, yachts, all that stuff. I want it all, man. And this is gonna be my gateway into it. Seriously, dude? Come on, man. You're my twin brother. You're supposed to be supporting me through my dreams, okay? Yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. Just do it again. I'm recording. Ha, oh, this is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna go viral and it's gonna change my life forever. All right, let's do this. Dude, what are we even doing here? Oh, come on, dude. Do you ever listen to me when I talk to you? You just told me we were going to the store. You didn't say why. Well, we're here at the store so I can buy props for my new video. That's why. <laughs> what do you need props for? What do you have planned now? You'll see, Owen. You'll see. And even if I did tell you, you totally wouldn't understand, okay? You don't get the industry. Well, I'm not dumb. If you just told me what you were thinking, I would get it. I would understand it. You really don't understand anything, Owen, okay? I am the smart twin. You are the dumb twin. Dumb, dumb. Oh my gosh, are you Ethan? Yeah, man, I am Ethan. Dude, I'm such a huge fan of yours. What, a fan? Seriously? I didn't think I had any fans yet. Dude, you totally went viral. Like, literally the other day, you have millions of views. Oh my god, oh my god, do you want to hear my Ethan impression? <laughs> you have an Ethan impression? Yeah, totally. What is it? What's up, dude? It's me, Ethan. Owen, you're such a disappointment. <laughs> Pretty spot on, man. Pretty spot on. That was sick. <laughs> Thanks. I was up all night practicing for like 10 hours. Well, dude, you did a great job. Great impression of me. That was awesome. Thank you so much. Just like totally made my day. Yeah, and you're so cool, dude. So here's this. No matter what you want from the store, it's on me, okay? My parents are totally rich, so I can get you anything you need. Wait, seriously? You're just gonna buy me whatever I want? Yeah, of course, dude. Anything you want. That's very nice, but you don't need to do that. We can buy everything on our own. Shut up, Owen. You don't know anything. Yeah, shut up, Owen. Stupid loser. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> funny, man. You're funny. Okay, come over here. We're gonna pick out some props for the new shoot. Oh my god, Ethan. Ah, oh, I saw your video and it's going viral. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, thanks, Mom. Yeah, and, and I, I actually filmed it. I was behind the camera in it. Oh, uh, oh, and I don't really care. I, Ethan was the big star. Oh, you're going to be everywhere. Yeah, Mom, I am totally going to be the most famous person on the planet, just like I told you I would be. Oh, I knew you would. Owen, oh, why aren't you living up to your brother's standards? What? Mom, what do you mean? Well, I want both of my twins to be successful, but only one of them is doing it right now. So, uh, when are you gonna become better? Well, like I said, I helped with the video. Mom, don't even worry about Owen, okay? He's got no talent and he's pointless. He's just good behind the camera. That way, I can shine on screen. Oh, honey, you're totally right. You're the star, and Owen is the one behind you, always. <laughs> Owen, you know what? A regular kid like you 
probably shouldn't be here in front of, you know, your superstar brother. <laughs> yeah, this is basically kind of like a you need a wristband to talk to me kind of thing now. Seriously? Why are you guys acting like this? Mom, the peasant is talking to me. I don't want to talk to a poor peasant. Oh, and maybe you should just go for a walk or something, okay? Ta-ta, leave, go. Fine. I don't even want to be here right now. Owen, are you even holding the camera straight? Yeah, dude, don't worry about it. I know what I'm doing. All right, good. I'm like the best skater in town, so this is going to be awesome. Well, I'm pretty good too. <laughs> you think you're better at skating than me? Dude, you're totally trash. Just shut up. I didn't say I was better than you. I just said that I'm also really good. Blah, blah. No one cares about Owen, okay? I'm the star here. So just make sure the camera is pointed on me when I do my sweet tricks, bro. Okay, whatever. Just get it over with. Excuse me, I've been looking for you. You must be Ethan. Ja, dude, I'm Ethan. What about it? Yes, listen, I would love to sign you as one of my clients and make you a big star. Whoa, really? Are you some kind of cool agent or something? Yes, uh, I actually used to be a real estate agent, but that got a little boring, so I decided to go into the talent agency world. You don't know how much money there is here. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, that's awesome. I love money. Then we'll be a great team. I'll make you millions. Millions! Well, I want more than that, dude. Well, you'll have it. I've seen your TikToks and everything. You're extremely talented. You're great. You're going to make billions of dollars, if not trillions. Yeah, I know. That's more like it. <laughs> well, as like a super famous international talent, I think I will need an agent. And you seem totally cool. Like, just my vibe. Perfect. But listen, we need to take your content in a slightly different direction. I don't think your brother Owen should be behind the camera anymore. I think he needs to be in front of the camera. Whoa, really? You think that I'd be good in front of the camera? Yes, yes, absolutely. Now shut up. Here's the plan. You're just going to take your brother Owen and punch him in the face. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Ow! Oh, wait, I wasn't filming. Do it again. Ethan, remember me? Do you remember me from the store? It was only like a few days ago, but I'm, I won't blame you if you don't remember me. I don't know, man. I mean, I've been meeting a lot of people. I'm like super famous now and stuff. Do you even have a wristband? Yeah, of course, man. I bought the meet and greet pass and everything, dude. Oh, yeah. Awesome. What's up, dude? You're an awesome fan. Thank you so much for supporting me through all of this craziness. Yeah, dude. I love supporting the craziness. <laughs> Anyway, I just have one request, though. I think Owen should just be out of the video in general. I don't even like his voice. Dude, I'm standing right here. Shut up. Anyway, yeah, that's what I was totally thinking, Ethan. Well, bro, thanks for the feedback. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, have a great day or something. Dude, you're so awesome. Thank you so much. Bye, Ethan and the lesser twin. Yeah, bye, dude. Haha. <laughs> Man, I love my fans. They're just so cool. Yeah, but they're all super mean to me. Well, it's probably because, honestly, Owen, no one really likes you. What? Why would you say that to me? I'm your twin brother. You should stick up for me. Facts are facts, bro. I can't believe you're honestly thinking you can just tell the talent what to do. <laughs> you're pathetic. No, you're pathetic. What is wrong with you? How could you treat me that way? Wait, are you like about to cry? Oh, wait, we should be recording this. This would be great content. Dude, just stop. Enough is enough. <laughs> Oh my god, Owen, are you okay? No, Ethan's being super mean. Just buck it up, Owen, all right? You're ruining the show for not only me, but your brother. How can you be so selfish? Mom, seriously? You're such a disappointment. Oh, where is my food? I can't believe I've been waiting for like two minutes. Where is it? I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry. We're doing the best we can, but listen, I actually, I need to charge your card before we can make the food. Excuse me? Well, well yeah, you kind of have to pay for the food, 
Otherwise, we we can't make it. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't believe what I'm hearing. You're just being super ignorant. You don't even know who I am. I am Ethan, okay? I'm super famous. I shouldn't have to pay for this. Oh, uh, oh, okay, Eton. Um, yeah, listen, I, I just, I would get fired if I, if I gave you free food. I apologize if I'm overstepping here, but if you're really famous, you probably have enough money to pay for the food, right? I can't believe the level of disrespect right now. You are out of control. I need to like speak to your manager or something. No, 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 please. Uh, please don't do that. Uh, hey, are you Ethan? Yeah, obviously. Oh my God, you actually like really changed my life. Watching your videos makes me really happy. You know, I would love to actually pay for your meal. Oh wow, so you think I need that? You think I just need a free handout from people? Pfft, unbelievable. Well, dude, I was just trying to help. I'm a really big fan, but whatever. Yeah, exactly, whatever. I'm never gonna come back to this stupid restaurant anyways with these ignorant workers and annoying people just thinking I'm poor and need handouts. This is unbelievable. Oh, hi, Ethan. How did your day go? Oh, how was being famous? How was being famous? Not like you'd ever know. Just shut up, mom. But did you just tell me to shut up? Let me think about it. Oh yeah, I did. Shut up. Gosh, you're so annoying. What makes you think that you can talk to your mother that way? Listen, I'm starting to charge for my time now. So if you're just gonna sit here wasting it talking to me, you might as well start paying me and my going rate is 50,000 an hour. Look at you. I think the fame went too far into your head. <sighs> Ethan, go to your room. I will not have you give me an attitude. Yeah, whatever, Barbara. I'm not listening to you. What did you just call me? That is so disrespectful. I did not raise you that way, Ethan. Now go to your room. Yeah, so I was thinking about it, and I'm totally not going to do that. I'm probably going to go grab some sushi and spend some money or something. This place is lame. You're lame. And this conversation is lame. I'm over it. Peace out. Finally, my new car arrived. Oh, this thing is so sweet. All right, I gotta go take it, hang out with my new famous friend. I can't believe this, wasting my time. Why are you such in a hurry there, huh? Listen, officer, I really don't have time for this, okay? I'm late for like a super important famous person thing you wouldn't understand. You're famous? Oh my goodness, I missed the part where I cared. You were driving 25 miles over the speed limit. Now you better tell me right now, what were you doing? Are you dumb? You just said what I was doing. I was driving fast because I have somewhere to go. Did you just call me a police officer dumb? Now that is dumb. What do you want, dude? Like an autograph, some money or something? I've got to go and you're literally wasting my time. All right, that's it. Hands behind your back, kid. What? No. No, I'm famous. You can't just arrest me. Yeah, I really don't care. Famous people get arrested all the time. Deal with it. You'll be famous now that your mugshot's all over the news, you stupid loser. I can't believe I was in jail. This place is so dumb. Cancel Ethan, he's stupid! You smelly criminal! Boo, you're an awful person! I don't even know why I'm here. What is going on? What is this? Dude, I can't even believe you right now. Oh, hey, dude, you're my fan. What is going on? Why is everybody yelling at me? You must have me mistaken for someone else because I'm not your fan. What you did is awful. What do you even mean? Dude, you like totally broke the law and that's like not cool. You definitely crossed the line, man. Well, it was just an accident. That cop was being stupid. He didn't even know who I was. That fan you yelled at at the restaurant put up a blog post and now everyone knows who you are, who you truly are. Well, that fan was just being annoying. Honestly, dude, now that I think about it, you're totally annoying. You were like so mean to Owen. Yeah, but so were you. Everyone was mean to Owen. That was like the thing. Well, it doesn't even matter because it's not even your thing anymore. Have you even seen your social status? Dude, I was just in jail. Obviously not. Well, obviously, you totally lost all your followers and fans. What? No way. That's impossible. 
We'll believe it, man. No, no, I'm not gonna believe it. This is all stupid. You're stupid. Oh, I'm out of here. <laughs> Owen! Woo! You're awesome, dude! Yeah! Owen's the best! Woo! Oh, hey, Owen. Listen, I'm such a huge fan. Uh, we found out about your brother, and we just wanted to all say we're so really sorry about what happened, and you shouldn't have been treated that badly. Wow. Really? Yeah, we all figured out how horrible he actually was. Yeah, my brother was acting like a jerk. But we realized that you were actually kind of the cool person the entire time, so I guess it worked out. Wow, thank you so much. That's really a nice thing to say. Hey, Owen, yes, how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing all right. Why? Well, listen, uh, your brother clearly got canceled, uh, but thankfully you guys are twins, so you look alike, and I'm looking for a new person to sign, so what do you say? Do you want to be my new client? No. Uh, actually, no, I really don't. Are you serious? I can make you so much money. Are you turning down that much money? Yeah, I don't care about the money. I would never want to work for you. You're an awful person. Well, you might be right. I can't deny that. I am a pretty bad guy. And on that note, I am out of here. Yeah, Owen, you tell him. Woo! Whoa, this is actually really cool. Welcome home, little Caleb and Liam. <laughs> this is our mansion. Yes, we hope you find the uh, a custom suitable for you. Darling, we live in pure luxury. Of course these children will be happy. They're each getting their own wing in the house. <laughs> I hope they do. Anyways, Nanny, come here. Uh, yes, ma'am? Are the rooms ready for the babies? Yeah, but, uh... <laughs> We weren't expecting there to be twins, so we've only prepared one. What? This is unacceptable! All children need to have their own master suites with at least three balconies, a complete walk-in closet, and their own private ensuite bathrooms. Um, yes sir, yes sir, uh, we'll get to that right now. Anyways, you know that massive gala that we were planning? Why don't we surround that with the twins? Make it like a welcome home party. Darling, this is why I married you, because you are absolutely brilliant. Perfect, yes, let's throw a massive gala, just so everybody can look Look at how beautiful our children are. Oh my gosh, is school almost over yet? I want to get out of here. We're almost done, Caleb, I promise. But I just wanted to let you guys know about your progress. Liam, you've been doing great in your tutoring sessions. You're passing with flying colors. Oh wow, that's great to hear. Thanks, man. You're actually such a great tutor. But unfortunately, Caleb, you are not doing so well. Uh, what do you mean? Well, you actually haven't done a single assignment that I've given you. Who has time to do stupid, lame assignments? Uh, people that are in school that want to pass, like your twin brother. Unfortunately, I have to let you know, you're not going to be graduating. Uh, that's impossible, okay? I have to graduate. I'm sorry, Caleb. It's too late now. Caleb, I can't believe you're failing. Mom and dad are going to be so upset at you. I happen to have, what is this, about $50,000 in cash? Um, how about you take this and you give me an A for the whole year and I graduate. Caleb, are you bribing our tutor? This isn't right. Shut up, Liam. Did you say it was $50,000? Yeah, that's right. 50K, what do you say? I say that's incredible. I need to buy a new Range Rover immediately. <laughs> See, that's how it's done, Liam. Hey, Caleb, you wanted to meet me here? What is this place? Check it out. This is my brand new house. <laughs> you can't be serious. Oh, no, I'm serious, dude. I already talked about it with mom and dad. And because I graduated with such great grades, I decided to treat myself to a brand new house. What do you think? It's like totally cool, super modern. I think I'm going to put a fountain in over there and I'm going to have so many parties here. Caleb, this isn't right. You bought this as a graduation gift? You didn't even graduate. You bribed our tutor. You ended up with better grades when you didn't even work at all. Dude, so what? 
I had the money to buy myself a couple grades. I don't know why you're acting like a total nerd. I don't know, dude. You're just extremely irresponsible with your money. And you didn't even earn any of it. We were both given this money by our parents. Yeah, and I can spend it exactly how I want to. Dude, you should start spending some of your money as well. I mean, look at your car. It's a total piece of junk. <laughs> it's my first car, and I don't need anything special. Oh, I see what this is. Okay, okay. Dude, I completely understand, okay? You're just jealous that I have a mansion now, and you don't. What? You can't be serious, Caleb. Yeah, it makes total sense. It's the only reason why you're acting like a total loser. <laughs> if being responsible and working for what I get makes me a loser, then I'd rather be a loser. You literally don't work for anything. You just get stuff handed to you all the time. I worked hard, did the assignments, and graduated on my own, and that makes me feel good, while all you did was pull your wallet out and threw money at your problems. Yeah, and that made me feel pretty good. <laughs> You're my twin brother, and I don't want to see you in that stupid, ugly car ever again. We have to go buy you a new car. I really don't need a new car, though. Uh, yeah, you actually do. <laughs> Come on, let's go. So, boys, uh, what do you think of this one here? This is the newest model. It is completely electric and fuel efficient. It is in this bright candy red color that we normally don't sell, so you would only be getting it here. Whoa, super exclusive. That's awesome. Liam, you have to buy this car. I don't know, Caleb. I don't think I need it. It seems just like it's a waste of money. A waste of money? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry for my stupid twin brother. He doesn't understand that we were actually born super rich and money is awesome. It's fine. I completely understand. Liam, stop being such a stick in the mud, okay? This car is super exclusive, and it's probably really expensive, right? Actually, so the base model is uh, $80,000, but to have it in this limited edition candy red color, it would up it to $99,999. That's so much money. There's no way I'm buying this. I'd rather get an SUV or something. An SUV over a sports car? Seriously? Yeah, at least that would be useful for my hiking trips. Well, you know what? If you're not going to buy it, I'm going to. In fact, I'm going to buy two of them. Hey, car salesman lady, I want to buy two of these cars. Can you have them ready in like five minutes? Two? Oh, yes, of course. We'll have them right in a jiffy. All right, awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Why do you need two sports cars, Caleb? Well, one car can be for when I go buy boba tea, and the other car I'll use to go get sushi. Totally makes sense. This is what I'm talking about, Caleb. You don't think smart with your money. You just throw your money like it's nothing. Yeah, because it is nothing. Oh my gosh. Dude, I don't know why you're being so difficult today. Ugh. Caleb, I just wish you were more responsible with your money. Yeah, and I wish I had a cooler twin brother. Thanks for meeting me today for lunch, Mom. I feel like it's been so long since I've seen you. Yes, it's been quite a while. I've been visiting all the islands, trying to figure out which one to buy, and I was able to schedule you in for lunch. Yeah, this is really nice. Huh, I love spending time with you. Yes, darling. When I have the time, I love spending it with you as well. Uh, um, sorry, sir, but um, your uh, card was declined. What? What are you talking about? Hmm? Declined? What, uh, what is that? I've never heard that in my life. That just means he doesn't really have any funds in his credit card? I'm sorry, but you don't know who you're talking to, okay? I'm one of the richest kids in the whole world. Just here, take my second card and use this. Um, okay, we'll go try that one. Oh, I'm so sorry about that, Mom. It's so embarrassing. <sighs> That's fine. Mistakes happen all the time. I'm sure it was just a faulty wiring on that other card. Yeah, it's probably because I use it so much now. It just, like, doesn't work anymore. I need to call the bank and get a new one. So, I was thinking, what if I redesigned your home mansion? You know, it's very, um, old style. Very 2020. We should be looking towards 2021. Yeah, I think you're totally right. Sir, uh, this one also didn't work. What? What do you mean it didn't work? This card always has money on it. Um, I'm sorry, but, uh, we'll need somebody else to pay for this meal. Ugh, fine, here, take my card. Caleb, why isn't yours working? I don't know, Mom. This, this never happened before. There must be something wrong with my cards, that's all. I'll, I'll get it figured out.
what is this note? Rental notice? What, what does this even mean? Let me just see what's going on with my bank account. What? No. Negative $50,000? What? Oh, this isn't good. Oh, no. This is not good. Hey, Caleb. I want to talk to you. Wait, is everything all right? You look upset. Um, yeah, no, I'm fine, dude. What do you want? Mom just messaged me and asked me what declined means. She was out eating lunch with you, so what happened? Well, we went out to lunch and the server kept saying my card was declined. Caleb, that means that you ran out of money. You're broke. Yeah, I know. I just checked my bank account and it's like negative money. What is even negative money, dude? I'm scared. That means that you spent more money than you actually had. And now you owe the bank money. What? No, that's where I put the money and, and it's just supposed to be there, dude. What is going on? I need to figure this out. Can I borrow $50,000? Maybe actually just make it an even hundred. Hundred thousand dollars, dude. No, I'm not just giving you my money, Caleb. You need to learn how to work for something for once. Well, I'm asking you for help and you're my twin brother. Why aren't you helping me? I need a hundred thousand dollars. It may not seem like I'm helping you right now, but you'll thank me later. You need to figure this out on your own. Well, if you're not gonna give me any money, I'll just go ask mom and dad. Mom, Dad, I gotta talk to you guys. Something's going on. Darling, what's wrong? Well, guys, I just need to borrow like $100,000 real quick. That's all. Why would you need to do that? We gave you so much money in your savings account. Yes, not to mention your trust fund is about $70 million. So why, why do you need an extra 100K? Well, um, the thing is, I, I actually don't have any more money. What, what, what do you mean? Sweetheart, what's going on? I'm confused. Uh, I'm also confused. Does this have to do with the whole decline thing? I still don't know what that word means. Yeah, I just ran out of money, I guess. So how about you guys just give me some and I put it in my bank account and everything's gonna be fine. Uh, no, son, no. Actually, it doesn't work like that. We gave you about $70 million and you spent it all? Are, are you joking? <sighs> This is extremely disappointing. I thought you were going to at least be a little smart like your twin brother and save some of your money, but you just blew it all? Dad, were you upset? Of course I'm upset. I worked extremely hard to build our family fortune, and you just throw it away like it's nothing? You need to learn a lesson, Caleb. But you guys are rich. That's supposed to be the whole point. My parents are rich, I have money too. No, Caleb, it does not work like that. You need to go get a job or something. <sighs> Honey, I agree with your father. You need to work for your earnings. Learn what a dollar means. But working is for dumb poor people and we're not poor. Well, technically, Caleb, you are now poor. Well, I don't even know where to start. Where do I get a job? Why don't you go talk to your brother, Liam? He has a job. He can help you. I don't have time for this. I have to get on a private plane. I've got a very exclusive business meeting going on. So if there's anything else you need to discuss, do it with someone else, okay? Caleb, get out of here. I'm very disappointed in you. Dude, why would you take me here? What even is this place? This is a work office, Caleb. It's where people come to work and make money. But it looks so sad. Where are the gold pillars and the fountains and the butlers and everything? <laughs> you have a lot to learn, don't you? This is where I work and I'm gonna try to help you get a job here. I talked to my manager and after a little bit of convincing, they agreed to meet with you. Dude, I don't know if I could do this. Like, work? Huh, I don't know if I can do that. I mean, if you don't want to sit with your account being at negative $50,000, you're going to learn to have to. Ugh, all right, fine. I'll give it a try, I guess. Just never really worked before. Caleb, you need to go in there and whatever you do, do not act like yourself. Act responsible. All right, fine, fine. I got this. Liam, where is your brother? And why are you wearing such fancy clothes? Oh, no, I'm Caleb. I'm, I'm Liam's brother. Oh, you guys are twins. Whoa, freaky. Just have a couple questions for you. 
All right, excellent, because I have a couple of questions for you as well, and I'd like to start. Um, so how much am I gonna make? I'm thinking I really need to start about like $200,000 a week. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Are you, that was a funny joke. Man, you're funny. I wasn't joking. Well, there's absolutely no way you're making that as a salary. I don't even make that. Well, that's the money that I need, okay? And honestly, I should probably just be running this place. I should really be your boss. It doesn't look like you're doing your job well. I don't know who you think you're talking to, but Liam went out on a limb here and he said that you really needed this job. You're acting like a complete spoiled brat. And you're acting like a total loser. There's no way I would ever hire you for any kind of job. I wouldn't even hire you to mop the floors. People mop floors? Get out of my office! Oh, what am I gonna do now? Liam's gonna be so mad at me that I didn't get this job. I hope he doesn't get in trouble. I've gotten myself into a total mess now. I've gotta figure something out. I need to get some food or something. I'm so hungry, I can't even think straight. I think this place has food. Hey, you! Working idiot! Do you have food here? I'm hungry. Well, this is a sewer, so... Of course, yeah, I would think I would have food. All right, just give me whatever you have. Here, just take my card. All right, let me just scan this and, um... Oh, well, it looks like the card is declined. Yeah, uh, it just... It, the first time usually happens like that. You've got to do it, like, three or four times. So, like, can you do that, please? I'm really hungry. All right, here goes one. Mm-mm, nope. Here goes two. Mm -mm, no, didn't work. Uh, three. No, uh, and four. Uh, yeah, no, this card is literally useless. Yeah, what are you talking about? You don't know what you're doing. You're just stupid. I'm not stupid. And look, I'll try to swipe this card one more time. And it actually, it now switched to destroy on site. So here we go. Destroying the card now. What? No. What are you doing to my card? That's all I have. You're so dumb. Why would you do that? You're a total jerk. I'm going to tell my mom and dad. They're going to buy whole stupid story and get your dumb stupid face fired <laughs> thanks for coming to the corner shop have a great day <laughs> caleb what's going on i'm out of money and broke and that stupid store clerk just destroyed my card liam i just talked to my manager too and he told me that you totally flipped out in the interview how can you do that you completely blew it. And not to mention, you embarrassed me. Well, I'm sorry, Liam. I just didn't know what to do. I asked him for a bunch of money and he just laughed in my face and I just got so upset. I just feel lost. Caleb, I've already told you what you need to do. You need to put your ego aside, work hard, and everything will be fine. Everyone starts from somewhere and right now you're starting from rock bottom. But you can do this. I know you can. Really? Of course, man. You're my brother, and I love you, and I always believe in you. Oh, thanks, Liam. I know you're just trying to help. I promise. I'll do better. I'll show you. Well, Caleb, you actually turned yourself around. You're a model employee. You've been working so hard, you've earned this promotion. Congratulations. Oh, really? Thank you so much. So dude, what do you think? This is my new place. This place is really nice, Caleb. And I just want to say how proud of you I am. You really proved everyone wrong. Well, you're the one that taught me to stop being such a spoiled jerk. <laughs> and honestly, working really hard and buying this house, it actually feels a whole lot better than just spending money on a mansion that I didn't earn. Now come on inside, dude. Just wait till you see the kitchen. Sometimes it can be difficult to have brothers and sisters. Sometimes you argue, but most of the time you get along. But that wasn't the case for twins Ben and Bruce. They were both treated very differently by their own family. Bruce was given everything he wanted. His birthday and the holidays were filled with so many gifts. But for Ben, it was the opposite. He never got anything from his parents, and he was always stuck doing chores. But Ben got something more than gifts. He learned what was truly important. This is the story of the spoiled twin. Good morning, Mom. Ugh, hi, Ben. Why are you bothering me? Well, Mom, Little League soccer signups are coming this week, 
and I was wondering if I could join. You play soccer? Do you even know how to run? You're not fit enough for that. What do you mean? I run all the time. I'd love to play soccer. It'd be so much fun. Some of my friends from school are even playing. I don't care if your friends are playing. Are they at home doing their chores like they're supposed to? I'm sure they do their chores at other times, just like I could. Ha! <laughs> well, there's no time for you to have fun. You're supposed to do chores, and that's it. But Mom, that's not fair! Hi, Mom. Oh, Bruce, you're home. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. What are you guys talking about? Well, Ben over here thinks he can sign up for soccer practice, and I don't think so. Oh, huh, soccer? That sounds like fun. Do you think I could join? Sure thing, honey. Whatever you want to do. Mom, this isn't fair! I asked you to join soccer and you said that I couldn't! Well, I don't care what you think. And for speaking back to me, you're grounded! <laughs> Can't believe this! This is so ridiculous! Why are they always so much nicer to Bruce? I wanted to join soccer so bad! Aw, oh, hi Ben. What are you doing, Bruce? How was your soccer practice? Aw oh, man, it was way lamer than I thought. They told me I had to like run around and stuff, so I just quit. I can't believe you would do that! I wanted to play soccer so bad! And you get to join and then just quit like nothing happened? Yeah man, I mean it was like totally lame, you know what I mean? You don't appreciate anything that you have. Whatever, dude, you're just jealous because you're such a loser. Mom and dad hate you. I'm not a loser, okay? Yeah, you are. And whatever, man, like, I'll just get something else. If I don't want to play soccer, I'll just have mom and dad buy me a new Xbox or something. You can't just get an Xbox. This is so unfair. Huh, dude, I can get anything I want. Don't you understand that? I'm Bruce. This isn't fair. Oh, this isn't fair. You're such a crybaby, Ben. I'm not a crybaby. You're spoiled. You get everything that you want, and I get nothing. Well, it's a bummer to be you then, isn't it? I don't understand this. I wish I wasn't part of this family. You guys are so mean. Oh, whatever, crybaby Ben. I'm out of here. I'm going to go see if Mom will take me out to dinner. You wanted to see me, Principal Jackson? Yes, Ben, I did. Oh, well, what's going on? I, I don't think I did anything to get in trouble or anything. Well, Ben, I wanted to be the one to tell you that this is your last day of school. Wait, what do you mean this is my last day of school? I, it's the middle of the semester. I don't want to go home. Well, Ben, your mother called and said that you're going to be homeschooled from now on. Wait, what? I don't want to be homeschooled. I love it here. School's the only place that I feel good. Well, I don't know what to tell you, Ben. Your mom called and said she doesn't want you coming here anymore. Well, that's not fair. Well, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about it. She's your guardian and she gets to tell you what to do. Please, Principal Jackson, is there anything you can do for me? I'm afraid not, Ben. You gotta go and say goodbye to all of your friends and your teachers because you might not see them for a long time. Please, please, you can't do this. This is horrible. It's really bad at my house. School is my only escape. Ben, it sounds like you're overreacting. I've met your mother and your brother Bruce and they both seem really nice. No, my brother Bruce is terrible. He's so spoiled and so mean. Look, Ben, it's not up to me to get into your personal life, okay? All I'm telling you is that today is your last day of school. This is your last day of school. So go say goodbye to everybody and then don't come back. You're no longer enrolled here. Fine, Principal Jackson, whatever. This is ridiculous! Why did you get me out of school? Well, I think you need to be home more to do chores, and homeschooling you will give you just the right amount of time. Wait, Mom, I don't want to be homeschooled just to do chores. This is ridiculous. I'm really good at school. I have a future there. I don't care about your future, and I'm sick of hearing all your excuses. Oh, Mom, my car's so dirty! 
Can you have Ben clean it? Oh, Bruce, of course. Ben, get out there and clean his car. No, I don't want to not go to school so I can stay home and clean Bruce's car. This is so messed up. Quit your complaining. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, my car's not going to clean itself, Bruce. No, this is not fair. Bruce gets everything handed to him, and all I want is an opportunity to earn my own way. And you guys can't even see that. Well, there's no point in earning your own way because you're worthless, Ben. This isn't fair. Guys, please, let me go back to school. I don't want to clean the stupid car. Oh, you'll clean the car, dude, because I want my car cleaned, okay? Mom, tell him he has to clean the car now. Ben, get outside and clean his car now. And you know what? You can't even do your own chores right, so how do you expect to make it in this world? Well, I'll show you guys. I'm gonna... What's wrong? My car! Somebody stole my car! Wait, really? Your car's gone? It was just here last night. Yeah, well, it's gone now, okay, Ben? Boys, what's going on? My car's gone! Somebody stole it! Ben, I can't believe you would steal Bruce's car like that. I didn't steal Bruce's car. Where would I even put it? I don't know, and I don't care, but this definitely seems like something you would do because you're lazy and you don't want to clean his car. I don't want to clean his car because he's able to clean it himself. Oh, this is the worst thing ever. This is the first time I've ever not gotten something that I wanted. This is ridiculous, Mom! Ben, I just cannot believe you would do such a mean thing like this to your brother, and all because you got kicked out of school. You're such a brat. Oh, I cannot stand you. Go to your room. But mom, I didn't do it. You have to believe me. I'm not going to believe a liar like you. How could you hurt your brother this way? I'm telling you the truth. It wasn't me. I don't care. Get out of my face. Good evening, ma'am. Oh, good. You're here. Ben, get down here! Oh, uh, what is it, Mom? That's him. That's the one who stole his brother's car, officer. What? I didn't steal anything, Mom. What are you doing? Well, that's not the story that I'm hearing right now there, Ben. Yeah, he stole his brother's car because he was jealous. And he's been jealous since the day he was born. Mom, I'm telling you right now, I didn't do it. Why are you going to get me in trouble with the police? Ben, stealing is a very serious offense. You know what this means? Look, officer, please, you got to understand. I have a really spoiled brother, and my mom likes him better than me, and they hate me, and they're just doing this to get me in trouble for no reason. That doesn't seem very likely, Ben. Yeah, this kid's just a liar. He has been since the day he was born. Mom, all I want is for this family to love me. Why is that so hard? Because you're not lovable, that's why. Well, uh, ma'am, that seems like a pretty mean thing to say to your son. I'm actually starting to kind of believe Ben here. Seems like you might just be overreacting. Overreacting? You can't see that this kid is horrible? Are you even a police officer at all? Well, ma'am, I've been trained to tell if people are lying, and he doesn't seem like he's lying. Thank you, officer. I'm so glad somebody finally believes me. Yeah, no problem, Ben. You seem like a good kid. Yeah, you know, all I wanted is an opportunity to just work and do something else, but my mom won't even let me go to school anymore. Well, look, Ben, we could always use honest people down at the police station. We need an office assistant if you want a job. Oh my gosh, yeah, that would be great. This is unbelievable. I'm calling your manager. So excited, my first day at the police station.
Uh, hi, Ben. Officer Larry, hi. It's great to see you. Uh, it's great to see you. I'm really happy with the opportunity that you've given me. I'm sorry that I can't be more flexible, but I kind of have to sneak out of the house in between chores so that my mom doesn't know. Oh man, Ben, I'm really sorry. I know that you're having a rough time over there with your family. Yeah, it's awful. My brother Bruce is out of control. He just throws a tantrum and gets whatever he wants. Well, Ben, that's all right. Someday you're gonna be better for all this. I promise. Aw, oh, thanks, Officer Larry. I really appreciate that. Look, I think you're gonna do a great job here. You seem like a really good, honest kid, and that's what we're looking for on the force. Thanks, I really appreciate it. I hope that I learn a lot, because someday I think I want to be a police officer just like you. Well, kid, you got the personality and the goodwill. That's very important when you're a police officer. Yeah, I understand. That's all I want. I just want to do the best that I can. Well, let's get started then and see what happens. Awesome, thank you. I'm looking forward to the new job. I can't believe it. I just graduated from the police academy. Officer Larry, I just want to say thank you so much for everything. Hey, you know what, Ben? It's not a problem at all. No, I mean, it really means a lot. You were there for me when no one else was. You're a great friend. Ah, oh, geez, don't worry about it. It's really not a big deal. I knew from the start that you were a good kid and that things were going to work out for you. You just needed somebody to tell you that. Ah, oh, I really appreciate that. Well, now that I'm a police officer, nobody can ruin this for me. No one can take it away. That's right, Ben. I'm so proud of you. I knew that you'd grow to be a strong, independent person. And you were right. I was better for going through all that stuff. I didn't get everything handed to me like my brother Bruce. And now, I have a great job and I'm working really hard. That's right, Ben. Everything's gonna work out. And I know that you and I are gonna make sure we keep the city safe. I'm so excited. I can't wait. broke down. I'm not really sure what to do. Your car broke down? Bruce, this car got stolen like years ago. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, I don't know. I guess I just found it. You just found it? Man, no, I didn't just find it, okay? I'm sorry. The whole thing was a lie. I just hid the car so you'd get in trouble. How could you do that to me, Bruce? Huh, I don't know, man. I thought it would be funny. You thought it would be funny to almost ruin my life? Uh, yeah, man. I did. That's so messed up. Nah, look, Ben, like, I'm really sorry, okay? I mean, I know that you're, like, a cool cop now and everything, and, like, I'm still living at mom and dad's house, just, you know, figuring it out, and I don't know. I got a lot of respect for you now, man. I'm really sorry. You got a lot of respect for me? I don't think that's true, Bruce. I don't think you have respect for anybody. Well, look, you know, I just thought it would be fun, that's all. I don't want to hear that, man, okay? This is messed up. Look, please, can you just help me with the car? I don't know what to do. I don't know how to change a tire. No, you know what, Bruce? Why don't you call mom if you need help, since she's always doing everything for you. I actually have to take care of this city and the people in it. Huh, typical Ben just running away from everything. You know what? I'm not going to let you do this to me anymore. I don't need this. I'm out of here. 